The Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs has received confirmation from the Caribbean Public Health Agency of 12 cases of the COVID-19 subvariant XBB 1.5 in St. Lucia. This subvariant of Omicron has been circulating in China, the United States of America, the United Kingdom, and also other countries in the region. The cases are distributed in most districts in St. Lucia, although the northern and central regions of the country are most affected. We estimate that this variant is already widely distributed across the country at this point. Seven of the cases received are male and five are female. The ages range from 5 to 74 years with one hospitalized case. At present, we have sequenced about 13 subvariants of Omicron circulating in country. Based on its genetic characteristics and growth rate estimates, XBB 1.5 is likely to contribute to increases in case incidence. There is also evidence for increased risk of transmission, and it seems more resistant than earlier strains to antibodies, reinfection, and vaccines. Symptoms range from the typical cold symptoms, such as the cough to shortness of breath, to cases that require medical attention. Other symptoms include fever, chills, fatigue, muscle or body aches, sore throat, nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. These symptoms typically last five to seven days. The symptoms of this new variant has become less severe due to prior infection and immunization. Persons with this COVID-19 subvariant are also at risk for long COVID, which causes a wide range of health problems that can last for weeks or months or longer. Vaccination and staying up to date on COVID-19 boosters remains an effective form of protection from serious illness, hospitalization, and death. In addition to COVID-19, there are other respiratory viruses in circulation which may possess similar clinical presentation to COVID-19. In several countries, there has been a steep increase in cases of influenza and respiratory syncytial virus. To reduce the impact at this point, the following measures are advised. Keep healthy and build immunity by consuming healthy foods daily, such as fruits and vegetables, increased fluids and regular exercise. Maintain sanitary measures at home, at work and at school. Ensure regular cleaning and disinfection of surfaces and cough etiquette. Persons with chronic health conditions are advised to ensure compliance to medication to keep their condition controlled. Mask use is strongly advised. All symptomatic persons should wear face masks if interacting with others or in public. Persons who are symptomatic should be managed based on their symptoms with Panadol, cough syrup, increased fluids, and rest. If your condition worsens, visit the nearest wellness center or private health facility. Children who are exhibiting active infection should be kept at home until they recover. Ensure face mask use if they interact with others. The influenza and COVID-19 vaccines are available at all wellness centers, and especially the high-risk patients are advised to get them. The Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs will continue to monitor the situation and provide guidance as needed.